You wish you had a little more engagement from your audience when you're presenting virtually. Welcome to the David Goad Show. Today we are talking about speed. Now, if you are naturally a fast talker, you may talk so quickly throughout the entire presentation that your audience doesn't really feel like it's a conversation and they'll never even ask you a question because you are mowing them down with your words. But on the other hand, if you're dragging a little too slow, they could get bored and tune out that way as well. So what's the ideal mix? Well, just as a frame of reference, the average conversational rate of speech for native English speakers in the United States, for example, is 120 to 150 words per minute. But if you listen to radio hosts or podcasters or professional speakers, Sometimes they gust up from 150 to 170 words per minute. And just so you know, an auctioneer is 250, and you can barely understand that. <laughs> Nobody wants to get to that rate. But if you are speaking a little too quickly, the audience starts to feel like it's a one-way broadcast to them, and it's not a conversation. So what do you do? If you're a naturally fast talker or you're really excited about your content, do you intentionally try to slow your speech? I don't think that ever sounds natural. With the people that I coach, I usually recommend they just pump the brakes. That's right. Orchestrate a few well-placed pauses or just at the end of a comma or a sentence, take a breath. <laughs> your next sentence will be a little bit stronger. And that little break that you give the audience is time for them to process what you just said, like I did just there. It's just a little bit of a break, a little bit of breathing room so your audience feels like this is conversational. I might put up my hand and ask a question, which is really what you want when you're presenting to influence or persuade or rally your team around a goal. So that's the advice today, is to not to intentionally slow down, but to all you fast talkers out there, just pump the brakes every now and then. Give your audience a chance to catch up so that you're not racing ahead. And see if you can feel the difference in the amount of engagement that you get in your virtual presentations. That's the David Go Show today. If you have any question about presenting in person or online, drop it in the comments below. I'd be happy to do a show just for you. Thanks for watching.